get away from my house. We don't want your drugs or your potatoes. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Ooh, it smells delicious. Um, uh, nom, 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 nom. Another day to live through. Better get started. <laughs> what a night we had last night, huh? Oh, what a night. It was a great night. Very fruitful. So we now have a car. We have a new shack here. It's a little bigger than the other shack, but make no mistake about it, this is a redneck shack still. It's just slightly larger than the old redneck shack, but at least here we get to spread our wings somewhat. And speaking of wings, oh gosh, I hope Bobby the redneck chicken is okay. He was all alone last night in the old redneck shack. That's too bad. So we can turn this into our base and make it all official-like, but I'm wondering what will happen to, uh, to Bobby. I don't know, maybe nothing, but I'm not going to take that chance. Let's go get all of our stuff from the other shack first. Bring it all here, um, and then we will turn this into our base. But I want to make sure everything's out of that other place first before we do that, because I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm afraid something weird might happen. So I'm going to go ahead and get organized here. It's going to take some time, and I'm going to do it off camera. And I do believe, I'm thinking about maybe going over to that garage next door. It's like right there. And using those file cabinets for maybe automobile storage. That would be kind of cool. Oh, we have so many spare tires. Or we could just carry the cabinets and bring them over here. I don't know. I don't know. I need to think about that. So give me a few minutes here to get organized. All right, our roadkill. I forgot about that. Sure, we can harvest that down and have a nice chicken meal tonight. But, uh, yeah, give me a few minutes. Let me get organized. And then, um, then we shall carry on. We'll head back home with the old redneck shack and grab all our loot there and bring it here as well. Bobby? I just heard a chicken. Did you guys hear? Bobby! Bobby, it's you. You found us. Come here, Bobby. No, don't run. It's just us. Oh, no. Bobby's going feral. Oh, I'm so sad. Sorry, Bobby. Sorry we, we couldn't come and get you last night. What is that? That could be... Is that a bandit place? Oh, you know what? I think this may be the bandit outpost. Oh, yeah, this bandit's right there. Holy cow, there's like five of them. <laughs> that can't be Bobby. Bobby wouldn't lead us to a bandit outpost. Bad chicken. I don't know who that chicken is. He's an imposter. It can't be Bobby. Bobby's still back at the old shack, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe that's the same outpost. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, this is the motel right there. So that's the band the Randit outpost that we had um, seen a, a couple episodes ago. All right, we're not going to mess with that right now. Not going to mess with that right now. Oh, look at all that loot. Grab it. Do we have any engine parts in here? There's a little bit of gas in these cars, but I don't have um, my gas can on me. I'm looking for spark plugs, because our spark plug is a disaster. All right. Well, we have a spare um, soccer mom car right here if, if we need one. Although, I don't think the frames ever get damaged. It's just the engine parts. <laughs> uh, even when you run into bears and trees and frozen chickens. Pretty interesting. All right. How about if we... Let's take a quick ride down the road. Let's go... Well, I had a plan until... Bobby distracted me. The fake Bobby, I should say. Let's let's uh, let's get back on. Let's get back on track. Oh man, I can't turn around and look behind me. Uh oh, what was that? I saw a tire. Did a tire just pop off my car? I could have sworn I just saw a tire pop off the car. All right, seeing things, going crazy. Oh no, there it is. Another one. Two of them. No, they're not my tires. I have no idea where they came from. All right, that's some kind of weird bug. Anyway, let's get moving. So, yeah, I wish we could turn around and look behind us. Or if the uh, the rearview mirrors work, that would be nice, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like in Jalopy. Jalopy has usable rearview mirrors, and it's actually really cool. All right, let's, well, let's go in the side door. Interact. It's our garage now. We can do anything we want. Another tire here. Wait a minute, did I not pick up a tire off the ground over here one time before? Um, there's a hammer. Yeah, what I wanted to do is... Hold on. Grab all of my spare tires. <laughs> got so many of them. And put them... 
way over here. So we're going to utilize this garage as our, well, as our garage. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. Can I just open this? I guess I opened the wrong one. Yeah, I just missed it. Sorry. Let's put these in this cabinet here. All the spare tires. I really doubt we're going to need all of these, but we might as well. So we'll put the car parts here in the garage. And we can do repair work here. And I wonder if there's any more car parts. By the way, I'm leaving the car running because apparently every time you restart the car, it does a little bit of durability damage to um, the spark plugs. It used to do damage to the battery too, but spark plugs will, will degrade slightly. There we go. Nice battery. Not brand new, but we'll bring that with us. We'll put it in the soccer mom. Soccer mom's trunk. More junk in the trunk. And now, let's go ahead and make this crowbar right here. 60 minutes! I better go shut the engine off then. <laughs> I don't want to use up all the gas either. Right, kill that engine. Battery is... Oh, no. The light's on too. Holy smokes. All right. Off the car. And let's put this battery in the trunk. And now, I want to make this crowbar. Another leaf. 60 minutes. I better close the door. In case the fog rolls in, we should be safe in here. 60 whole minutes to whip up a crowbar. We can use this to open up those locks. All right, here we go. And craft it ourselves since we don't have any friends, and I don't think Bobby the Chicken can make a crowbar. Oh my gosh, the fog rolled in. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh, it's even inside. Must have some broken windows here. Oh, okay. We're missing half the roof. This side is covered by a tarp. So the, the mist is rolling right through that. Let's loot the place while we're here. And waiting for this mist to dissipate. A little bit of ammo. That's nice. And can we transfer anything over while we're here that I don't want? Yeah, we'll move some of the crafting materials over. Because my guess is we're going to do a lot of crafting right here. Unless we move the workbench out of here, which we probably will eventually. But that's not a priority. My priority right now is to inject a little excitement in this episode. So let's go fight some infected. I see some right there. Let's use the kukri. And do some chop chop. They usually have some pretty good stuff. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Get in the timing. Get ready for the timing. Wham! <laughs> it's all in the timing. Circuit board and a can of fruit. I want ammunition, though. Sometimes they have ammo. There's another one. There's another one. You know, some people like to sneak up behind them and do a silent kill. I like to take them mono a mano Or uninfected, infected. Or something. But there's two of them there. I don't think we can take two at a time. This is a one-shot deal. And you cannot miss. Come here, buddy! Wham! Gotta go right for the head. Yes! Nine mil! And some drugs! Just say no, pal! No drugs on my street! Where'd that other one go? He disappeared. Oh no, he's going toward our shack! What was that? Feather. <gasps> he got Bobby! I think the infected ate Bobby! Oh, he is going for our shelter! Hey! Hey, that's my house. I'm moving in. I just bought the place. Oh, you stinker. Hey, get out of there. Dude. Come over here. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, 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 oh. I just fell into a hole. I thought I was going to miss his head. And just get him in the chest. But we got him good. More drugs. This guy's knocking on our door trying to sell drugs even. Man, they're bold around here. These dealers. All right, let's let's uh, let's dump some of this stuff out since we're back at home. And we have some space and some time. Let's do it. Oh, is the fog done? No. So in this locker, I've got food products and drinkables and also some roadkill, which we can eat eventually, right? Uh, let's put the drugs in here too. Get those drugs out. So I'll get more organized in the future. Right now, it's not that big of a deal. I think the fog is now dissipating. Oh, hold on. Another you know, drug dealer right out front. Can't believe these guys. Oh, hey! Get, a 
Dude, get away from my win- Oh, I think I did that damage, didn't I? Oh, you. Get away from my house. We don't want your drugs or your potatoes. And look what he did. He destroyed my barrier, although I think I may have helped him. Press F, rapid to repair. I need boards and nails, which we can make. We can make nails over on the workbench, and boards are easy enough to make with a saw. And we have a hammer around somewhere, too. All right, well, hey, that was fun. We got a little excitement here in the in this episode. We got some kills, and we, uh, we found some nice antibiotics. We got a potato here, which I'm not going to eat. We'll save that for later. Maybe we can cook it up. And we got some extra ammo. Yeah, we're looking mighty fine. Mighty fine. So I think what I'm going to do is go back to the uh, to our garage and maybe whip up some nails and things. Make some boards and uh, make a fortification for the house. So it looks like the infected go right for the windows. If you have one that's boarded up. Did we check this car yet? I don't think so. Mm, nothing in it. And a leaf here in the street. Got it. What is that? Stone. Let's just go around this thing. I didn't see the backside yet. It's a tractor that's unusable. Can we get inside this building? No. Now that we have our crowbar, we can go back to the farmhouse and unlock all those doors. Not unlock them, but force them open. There were a lot of locked doors in that farmhouse. At least three, right? If I recall. Yeah, we'll have some component tree and a shtick. And, oh, a spark plug. Yeah, grab it. Now we have a spare spark plug. Very nice. All right, we got some goods here. Up we go. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Let's just check the trunks. Oh, there we go. Soda and some more metal. And some gas here. I just don't have my gas can on me. Oh, more drugs. All right, I'm sure those drugs are going to come in handy if we ever get infected by something. But we are immune to the mist infection, fortunately. Um, so, yeah, all right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get organized, and I might do a little bit of crafting off camera. Nothing too exciting. I'll save the exciting stuff for uh, when we're together. But I think for now, I'm just gonna I'm gonna move stuff around and get organized, move everything back to our shack, our new shack from the old shack, and just uh, just get ready here to do some crafting with you guys, and we'll start making some new stuff. Look at all this stuff we can make: buckets, gas cans. We can upgrade this workshop too and make even more: a bow, arrows, quivers, clothing, and lighting. So yeah, lots of cool stuff to make. Alright, I am back. And I am no more organized than I was when I left <laughs> a minute ago. <laughs> One minute for you, three days for me. It's now Monday in real life. And all of that bit you just watched in the beginning of this episode was recorded last week on Friday. So yeah, whole weekend has gone by. And I was hoping that I was going to organize over the weekend and then come back and uh, be moved in with all the lockers and everything in our new our new redneck shack over there. But, uh, oh gosh, hold on, I'm starving. Elf needs food badly. Eat up that beef. Holy smokes, we are running low on food. We got to take care of this fast. And let's have a soda to wash down that meats. Okay. Disaster averted. But yeah, we have we have some priorities to take care of, and frankly, moving is not one of them. We need to get a water source, we need to get a food source going, or at least do some hunting and get some meat. We do have that chicken that we ran over. Well, I shot him, didn't I? I tried to run him over, but he was frozen solid, and he uh, just damaged the car. <laughs> he destroyed the engine, in fact. Um, so let's go over and grab our chicken, and let's cook him up. And I'm thinking we're going to go down the road here because I did at least look at some of the comments from my old video episodes that you guys had left on the old episodes. And apparently there's a... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. This thing spins around like a hovercraft. There's a big white McMansion down the road. 
Um, and we might want to move in there instead of this somewhat upgraded redneck shack. So maybe we'll do that today. I don't know. Let's hop out and go grab the chicken at the very least. He's in here, right? I put him in the locker. Yes, there he is. Chicken. And we're going to need matches to get a fire going to cook this guy, right? I think we need to make a campfire and then a grill on top of it. Uh, I'm not sure how many sticks that's going to require, so let's grab some of those. And I think that ought to do... Oh, and a sleeping bag, because I don't know where we're going to sleep tonight, and maybe some firewood. All right, that ought to do for now. That ought to do for now. Uh, we still have some daylight left. So let's hop in the Soccer Mom SUV and go down the road. So according to some of you guys out there... There is a dirt road just past the garage on the left-hand side that's going to lead to this giant McMansion. And apparently there's a lot of space there. Is this it right here? This must be the left turn. Let's take a left turn at Albuquerque and head down the road. Sapling in the middle of the... Oh, there it is! Wow, that is a McMansion. The place is enormous! It even has its own water tower. And a spare car. Look at that big white house, two cars, water tower, and a playground. Perfect. All right. Well, I guess we'll check it out. Let's kill the engine, shut off the lights, and get off the car. Now, do we have to clear this of any infected? I don't know. It's definitely baseable. It's got the base symbol right there. Well, this is really nice. And a garage. Ooh, look at that. Although I heard the garages are bugged. You should not park vehicles in the garages because they can disappear now this is a big big place but look at all the windows big house big problems yeah look at we got two windows right here boarded up we're gonna have to maintain and make sure that we keep these uh, fortified that's three. Oh, oh, a stump here for chopping firewood yes it's more efficient if you use a stump and there's a spare axe uh, oh another boarded up window here so that makes, according to my calculations, beep, 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 four. Hello? Anybody here? We're home, Lucy. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this big kitchen. All those cabinets. Ooh, granite countertops. Cannot be beat. Let's see, what do we have in the cupboards? Oh, we got some food here and a hammer. Very nice. I'm not going to take that out right now. I think we're just going to move in. Oh, there's some fruit. Can of fruit. In fact, let's put our can of fruit in there. That'd be nice. And we'll move our soda over. All right. Lots of space here. And a water bottle. All right, we'll grab the water bottle so I don't forget it. Yeah, this could be very, very good. But like I said, the, the bigger the house, the bigger the problems. Oh, there's a basement maybe. Can't get in there right now. It's all blocked off. But I'm wondering if in a future update, basements will be added to these houses that would be awesome so yeah we have four windows we're gonna have to maintain for when the infected come they're gonna try to get through those windows they don't try to get through the windows that are not boarded up which is interesting but we're gonna have to keep those uh, fortified oh a bed and we can sleep in this one it's a single bed but two pillows we need a friend <laughs> looks like a double to me or at least a twin but we can sleep right here we can move it too Ooh. Yeah, we have our own bedroom? Are you kidding me? And we got two more spare bedrooms. Yeah, somebody moved out in a hurry, huh? These are all cleaned out. In good shape, too. Nice painted walls. The floors are just sanded. Just before the infection hit. Alright. Yeah, this, this could be the place. I am just a little worried about the size and having four windows to board up every time the infected come. You know, sometimes smaller is better, you know what I mean? But in this case, who cares? Bigger is better in this apocalypse, my friends. So how about if we try to cook up this chicken now? Um, let me get rid of some stuff here. I'm going to just throw some stuff in the cabinets. I'm going to have to bring all of our filing cabinets over, obviously. That's going to take a little bit of time. But for now, let's put the stuff in the junk, in the junk drawer, like a leaf. Um, I think the rock we need for um, for making the campfire. We'll move the sleeping bag over. Uh, put the antibiotics in there. And the, I think the rest of this we'll hold on to for now. Because so I think we need a hammer to make the campfire or the grill. Let's just go in the garage and see if there's anything we can loot. 
Yeah, this is real nice. What is that? Oh, gear! A gear is a crafting component. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Oh, there's a barrel fire! We could cook on this, maybe? Oh, no, we can't cook on it, but we can definitely get a fire started in here. Probably just for warmth. And we can move it around. Yeah, I, I hear that these are pretty good for, um, for blocking doors to keep infected and randits out. Oh, check it out. We got some loot in the backyard, too. Scrap metal, some wood, and a circuit board. We got a water tower we can climb up in case of emergency. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. And we have a stump. We can chop up some wood, and we even have a, a slide. Oh, wee! Oh, that's so great! And a swing set, and a little hobby horse thing. Can we get on the hobby horse? Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is great. I think it's busted. Yeah, okay, so the hobby horse is busted. Swings don't work either. It's all right. We can break those down for components. All right, let's get this fire going. Let's put a little campfire right here out front. I want to cook up this chicken because we're running low on food. Yeah, we'll put a little grill right here. Oh, okay, start build. Oh, there we go. Just banging on it with a wrench. I'm not sure where that wrench came from. And now we can we can start a fire here. I think we put the matches in the starter. We need tinder, which I think we need bark for that. Maybe leaves. Okay, that doesn't work. I think firewood is fuel. Fantastic. Um, and we're going to need a grill on top of this thing. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we have a hammer. This is perfect. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. And now we whack it. With a wrench, even though it requires a hammer. <laughs> right two for the job. And now we can just put the chicken here. But I think we have to harvest them first. Can't cook them like that. we got to pluck the feathers and uh, chop off its head and all that fun stuff. So how about if we, we do that right now? And then we need to get some tinder. Like I said, I think we can get some bark from a tree. But first, let me just get rid of some of this junk. Because I'm pretty certain... That when we harvest that chicken is going to give us a lot of different chicken parts. And we need to make sure we have space. Alright chicken, your time has come. Let's go do this on a table out in the garage because it's going to make a mess. Alright, let's harvest. Choppity chop chop. Oh, put them in here? Okay, it's like, uh, like the long dark. We can pick a tool. And here we go. Yeah, five units of meats, two units of animal fat, and seven feathers. Wow. Okay, we have enough space for all that. It's going to take an hour. Uh, it's 6.30 right now. It's going to be dark soon, but I think we're safe right now. I don't think the infected will come out just yet. Ooh, listen to that. Chop, chop, breaking bones. There we go. We got five chicken meats, two fats, and seven feathers. Sweet. Oh, no, the crickets are out, guys. <gasps> okay, that means the infected could come out anytime. I think. Uh, we need bark. We need bark, so let's go whack on a tree with a knife. Pretty sure that's how this works. Just stab it. There we go. Just shave it right off. Two barks to shave. Let's grab a little bit more. Just in case. I don't know how much bark we're going to need for this job. All right, let's put the bark in. The tinder. We don't have any accelerant with us. We have some back at the redneck shack, but we're not going back there for a while. Uh, and I guess that's it, right? Let's ignite. We got a 60% chance. Oh, it failed, and it used a match and some bark. Oh, come on. There we go. It consumed all the fuel, but we have 60 minutes of burn time, so I guess that's 30 minutes per firewood, and then we just drag and drop our chicken meat. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Ooh, it smells delicious. Smells delicious. I can't wait. Now, I hear it burns pretty quickly, so we have to sit here and watch it. See, that was medium already. How do you like your chicken? Yeah, you don't want to mess with chicken. You want to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Otherwise, you get uh, botulism and uh, hepatitis. So, let's make sure it's well done. Oh, there we go. Well done, chicken. Look at that. Grilled to perfection. Mm -mm -mm. There's one more. Let's take advantage of this fire. Can we, can we cook animal fat? I don't think so. Oh, it says right there we have to put it in a cooking pot to make low-grade fuel. All right. So we'll make a cooking pot next. Probably in the next episode because we don't really have any more time in this one. I think we're about done. Oh, we're getting charcoal too. 
which is a crafting material. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're going to just let that fire go. We've got 42 minutes left. We'll get some charcoal out of the deal. And we are going to go inside our new McMansion. No more redneck shack for us, baby. Moving on up to the east side. We'll eat on our... Is this a kitchen table? This is going to have to do. All right. Um, do we have any vegetables to go with this? I don't think so. Let's just eat that chicken. Mmm! Mmm! It's a little salty. It might be overcooked slightly. It's kind of dry, so it made us a little thirsty. But, <laughs> but you can't complain. It's free food. Cannot complain about free food. Let's drink until enough. And I think that'll fill us up. Yes. And now, after that fine meal, I am so... Uh, uh, tired. I can sleep right through the ceiling. That's how tired I am. <laughs> That's right above us. That's great. All right. In fact, I think we're going to call it quits right here. Uh, let's hop up to bed. We've got a nice big bed right here. We close that door. It should be relatively safe. Um, now, I'm wondering if we should make some nails on the workbench back at the garage, though. So we can fortify these windows tonight, you know? Because I think the infected might... Might come and bug us at our new house. I don't know anything about this neighborhood. Could get nasty. Uh, but we'll take our chances the first night. I don't like that fire going. It might attract attention. Okay, four, four more minutes it will go out. And then we'll hop into bed. Okay, let's close the door. Let's get all the guns ready. Let's get up there right now. We need to get a generator and some lighting in here. That's going to be awesome. I really cannot wait for that. But one step at a time. First things first. Let's get through the night. And then I think what I might do is off camera move all of our equipment over here. The, uh, the workbench, the water barrel, the lockers. Move them all into this house. And then uh, we will reconvene in the next episode. So with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. I'm going to hop into bed. Good night.